Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Okay. It's got an interesting look to it. It would suck to only be able to live here because it's too cold to go anywhere else, though. Be so restricting. Looks like we're in the steam hey, age. It feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. So the Stellaron technically saved them from being destroyed by the legion. Now that's interesting. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. A marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh <laughs> I, I did. Thank you. Everwinter Night. Achieved. You've arrived in the city named Bellabog. That I have. I don't think I have nearly enough. Oh, I lie. I have two. Yay. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. It's so anticlimactic. <laughs> Oh, we we saw strange one. creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? Nah, How get the you... Jepard. That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. What are the crystals? After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. Oh, okay. We're lacking in intel. The chests look different in every world. Okay. Got it. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. The architects? The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The Architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the Eternal Freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Okay. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Freshen up what? Uh, and if we're after, um, concise conversation, let that hung do it. You look fine. Is there any etiquette we need to observe? Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Adam Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. 
Come with me. Um, at times, the focus is not quite right. So he, he looks blurred right now. And earlier in the conversation, March was talking, but she was blurred when she probably shouldn't have been. So it's a bit awkward. But I appreciate that they're trying to do something different from what they did with Genshin. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. Branya! How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> Hi, Branya. Yes, mother. Mother? Oh, ho. Interesting. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. To end your Eternal Freeze, so you don't doubt our identity, so you believe we come from beyond the sky? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. I'm sorry to say that your green and blue conflict with each other and I don't like it. However, I do notice you're wearing the same earring that uh, your daughter is wearing. She was wearing two that look similar, that is the same color. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We want to help you. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. The Stellarons were cast by the Eon of Destruction. The Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. This part. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds. But every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants. Lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Because I don't like to see people suffering. Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. I mean, correct. Obviously. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Please let us help you. Please let us locate the Stellaron. Hmm. FYI, we're pretty awesome. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. I like how she's immediately understood the situation and therefore is receptive to helping. I like this. Um, so I was just looking at their knees. This is something that you see a lot in these types of characters, i.e. Asian drawn characters. They all are freaking 
pronating, all their knees turn in. It's like that's not how the body, see, that's not how the body normally goes. Speaking of someone who freaking pronates, unfortunately, it's not natural and it's really bad on the body. So I don't know why this kind of stance is not necessarily idolized, but it's seen as like cute by uh, a lot of uh, not even just Asians, people who like Asian culture as well. And this whole anime style, they like this sort of look because it looks so cute and endearing. I'm like, that's really bad on the body. That's not something you should be thinking that's good. It's getting late and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. It's urgent that you will wait for tomorrow. Okay. Well, thank you, Supreme Guardian. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything ah, that may be connected that's to why we're waiting. Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. No, you have the more important task at present. She senses something, but what and where? Oh, this doesn't bode well. Does she know where the Stellaron is and is perpetuating it? Oh, that'd be an interesting twist. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. I think that is actually the case. Ooh, interesting. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's an impressive figure. She's very reasonable. You know, I didn't think things were going to go that smoothly. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. Your eyes to. are so blue. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabar. Can you still tell me about this crystal, though? I want to I wanna know about these blue crystals. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. Excuse me. In what world is that pronounced Goethe? Sure. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Wow. Okay. A lot to see and do. Visit the workshop, the hotel, and the monument. Well, the monument's right here, so we may as well start with it. Book merchant. Fizz. Fashion brand of suburbia. I want to see the adventurous moles! I thought I clicked on Fizz. There we go. Hmm. I don't think I've met you before. Is this your first time visiting the bookstore? What books do you have? I've... I'll be here reading. Let me know what you, when you make your decision. Okay. Mythological Tales of Yarilo. Yarilo? Yarilo? Is that how we pronounced it? God of Spring and War. Analysis Yarilo. God of Spring and War. God, they're expensive though. Very expensive. Uh, anyway, sometimes people give me free stuff. Can we please talk? Ah, sorry, I was so caught up in my reading, they didn't notice you. Do you need help with some books? Or at least in Genshin, if you talk to people, they give you free stuff. Alright, let's hear it. What do you want to chat about? How's business? Not bad. Bella Bog has a lot of people who love to read. Oh, that's convenient for you. But it would be nice if everyone paid for the books they read. What do you mean they don't? Wait, what? I just paid. Do you mean they don't pay? Play your recommendations. You came to the right person. What kind of books do you like? I like to read fantasy. 
fantasy. You'll love this one. It's about a traveler from a different world who was on a journey to find their family. <laughs> Genshin Impact, anybody? <laughs> it's very popular among young people. I loved it. Oh, so the science fiction one would have gotten you Honkai Third Impact. What would the mystery have gotten me? What would, the, what would the mystery novels have gotten me? I'm a fan of mystery novels. What do you think about this one? It's about a young girl, results. Detective Anraku, and her associates solving strange cases and covering hidden truths. It isn't exactly a hit, but it's coolly writing. I don't know, even know what that is. Science fiction? Would you like to try reading a story about a group traveling by steam train through the galaxy to explore interstellar civilizations? Oh, it's literally about us. This book is widely acclaimed. Something's going over here. Trash can! You sure about that? You've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an already trash can. Ugh, what do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. Oh, come on. I'm incentivized now. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over. From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap at the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. You look back at your components, companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. But they're just too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you've walked down this path. What did I get? I literally picked up a trash can. What? <laughs> An avatar. Completed five hidden missions in your low five. Oh, because I kept pushing. But what does it do? Lol. What's the signboard say? See in the menu. Pater Patrol Honey Drink. The world's greatest honey-based beverage sold out. Oh, it's you playing the music. I wonder where it was coming from. I like how they've got heaters everywhere. Like these. <gasps> Look at this beautiful flower store. Ever summer florist. Oh my. This place is really pretty. Look at the glass. Oh, they've definitely upped their game since Genshin. Hi, Vaska. Uh, Hatem, Dalmir. One is frost, the other flame. They're both carefree. In exploring the unknown world, they may suffer up many ups and downs, yet they are still by each other's side. Oh, Autumn is such a gentleman. Uh, who's Autumn? He's the perfect man. See? I told you, people give you shit. Oh, it's just a vinyl. That sucks. He's the kindest character I've ever read about. Is it going to be this music that's playing in the background now? He has the right sense of humor. He's caring, thoughtful, and restrained. Huh? Oh, I may have gone a little too wrapped up in the book. Sorry for rambling on. <clears throat> Welcome. What can the florist Vasca do for you? What about these? These flowers come in a variety of colors and prices, but really, they're all priceless. For example, this one named Sunshine is lovely. Its red and yellow colors make it look like the sun. Just looking at it makes you feel warm inside. It's a great choice for a gift or even to keep for yourself. Oh, this one here? It's pretty. What do you think? Or do you want to know more about some other kinds of flowers? Um, can I just take it? Oh, well, we'll talk about the Marquise. The Marquise is our most expensive flower. There's a grand story behind its name. Rumor has it that a noblewoman spent her entire family's fortune on one of these flowers. Jesus Christ. This is why it was given the name Marquise. To this day, it is beloved by high society. First snow. The flower has eight petals with white spots at each tip, just like snowflakes. A long time ago, the first snow of the year was called first snow, symbolizing harvest and joy. Summer shade bamboo. It'd be more appropriate to call it a plant rather than a flower. It said that long ago, artists would use its long stalk with holes on it to create musical instruments. This is correct. Probably. Other ones. Other ones. Oh my word. The sunshine. You just told me about that one. The ball peony. It is a very expensive flower. It blooms only once a year for one month. But honestly, the price is completely worth that one month of bloom. The rainbow. Oh, it's our best-selling flower. It's colorful and gorgeous and is offered at a great price. The one you just mentioned. Thank you. I appreciate the lesson, even if I can't buy them. Where's the rainbow? I can't find the rainbow, Miss Vasca. Vasca, Vasca, Vasca. I'll take this one. You'll take that one? I wish I could take some. Alas, it is not to be. I will go leave into the administrative district. Where are we on the map? That's the book merchant. Vending machine, wed. 
And another vending machine. Hmm. Hmm? But I want to explore. This looks like a dead end. Let's take it. Oh, it isn't. It leads to whatever that is. Wait, what? Street lamp. Oh, there's a book here. Remember a punishment from an ancient world where those judged to have lost their virtue would be put up on street lamps draped in black, black cloaks. What? Hey, who are you? Um, no matter who you are, can you please just get out of the way? You've been stepping on the door to our base for a long, too long now. Angry curses are heard coming from the sewers below. What's the noise? What noise? It's me, Mikhail, speaking to you right now. Yes, right below you. Hi, Mikhail. Ha, so you do have manners. I like that. So, girl, can you please move your feet away from our door? As long as you're stepping on our door, the alarm in our base won't stop ringing. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be a douche about it. Ha, so this gal does get it after all. This music is hella loud. I'll be treating you with a nice sun cake, you know, the good kind with cheese and all. But not today, though. Must needs me right now. So catch you later. Hurried footsteps continue to go further down the sewer until they're completely gone. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Excuse me, sir. I'm just going to take this. You have trains! Blockade line. For some reason, a sweet female voice pops into your head. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? Another trash can! Oh yeah. I hip I tender my resignation. On this, my final day of work. I hip mm -mm -mm -mm, wish to be frank. Generally speaking, my job is uninteresting, and so. And therefore has no meaning. Forget it. Time for work. A few typos away from a new career. <laughs> okay, so how does a vending machine work? Machine rumbles. Comfort food. Ramen. Agreed. Trick snack. Simple first aid device. Upon use, immediately heals one selected downed character for 5% of their max HP. How do I use objects in combat though? I've, I've not seen any facility to use objects in combat to heal myself. I mean, 5% of the mate's HP isn't really much, is it? But I'll take one, please. Cosmic fried rice. Bottled soda. Energy drink. Healing spray. 38%. Expensive, though. Disposable shield. Jim Roger bread soda. Recipe. Camo paint. Camo paint? For what? Enhancement paste fire. Enhancer paste quantum. They sound very interesting. Alright. Still don't know how to use that in combat, but thank you. Hello, child. Should you be wondering here by yourself? So what is this place? <clears throat> Sorry, coughing. You've never seen a trash can this clean before. In fact, you've never seen anything this clean before. This trash can is like the universe's very incarnation of purity. Maybe we're going too far. Investigate it carefully. You take a good look at it. The inside of this trash can is dust free and perfectly dark. It's a kind of pure dark as it surrounds nine in a nebula of dark matter. It focuses your attention and your eyes become fixed on it. You see yourself. You see March 7th and Dunhung. You see the fate of the Astral Express and the end of the future. You force yourself to stop staring and everything disappears. It feels like a fantasy dream. What's up? What's in there? What's with your expression? Nothing you decided to tell her. I like these trash cans. They're very dramatic. Oh, really? Seriously? That's just mean. Oh. Whatever this building is, I cannot visit it. Tamila, renowned performer. Don't leave me alone. Take me with you. I've been waiting for you to show me the ring. Love is our destiny. Say the word, baby. <clears throat> Can I help you with something? I'm just passing by. Don't mind me. Just got started by what sounded like the- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not be mean. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Don't mind you how. I don't like being stared at when rehearsing. Embers. Thanks, Demilia. How do you perform in front of your audience then? Rehearsal's different from the real thing. Uh, you look a little strange. You're not some journalist from who knows where, are you? I don't have any exclusive insider information to reveal. But it doesn't matter either way. Tamila of the Golden Theatre is always open to being interviewed. Is there a problem? As you can probably tell, my voice is rather low pitched. The director is not very happy about that, so the theatre hired a voice actress to assist me. She's impeccable indeed, but I, was, I too was professionally trained. Never missed a day of practice. Now I have to lip sync and act as if in a silent film. I can't help but think that maybe one day they'll get rid of me altogether. What do you think I should do? Work on your acting, maybe find a project that suits your voice better. Yes. I'm afraid it's not that easy. You might not know this, but musical artists only look good on stage for a very limited period of time. Once the physics change of the voices becomes coarse, they have to bid the stage farewell. They call it spending more time with the family, but everyone knows it's the end of their career. You have to challenge that. Even if the theatre agreed with me, the audience would not buy it. They've been quite honest in likes and dislikes. But you do have a point. People should be less judgmental. And you need to find a way to get your voice assistant fired. Nice. No, I want to keep my job fair and square. I have no interest in theatre politics. She's one of us, after all. I hope she will see her dream come true on stage one day. You work on your acting? That won't do. People come to musicals for the songs. How embarrassing would it be if a musical performer can't sing with her own voice? It's ridiculous. I'll be like thespians who can't remember their lines and need others to read out script for them. Why not try acting in a play? Both theatrical arts, true, but the skills they require are hardly transferable. Plus, musicals have always been my passion. I don't want to simply give up like this. I still want to give it a go. No worries. Thanks for listening to me. I feel much better already. Please keep this conversation a secret. Hmm. Hello, nervous man. A quiet and foreboding uh, wrought iron fence blocks the way. Hmm. Quiet isn't the right word to describe it, but at this moment, you seem to hear faint muttering. Venture no closer, no closer, the iron gate seems to say. Then again, the voice could have come from the nervous man behind the gate. You approach him to ask why on earth he is playing ventriloquist for the gate. Venture no closer to me. May I ask why you're talking to yourself? Ah, are you asking me? I was simply too nervous to have noticed you. I'm truly sorry. Are you on the line? Am I that attractive? Why are you nervous? It's the back alley. Have you not heard? Some ghostly goings on have been happening in the back alley recently. Okay, can you be more specific? I'm not too sure about the details. I just know that they're among us and they've gotten their hands on some of the residents. Interesting. Are you not a resident of this neighborhood? The back alley is an alleyway behind the theater. It's where we poor people live. You dress pretty well for someone who's poor. You don't have to be this polite with me. Oh, thank goodness. Why don't you leave the place then? It's all because of this gate. The neighbors and I wish to leave this place too, but we can't seem to get it open at all. Why don't you just climb over? All we can do is come out occasionally for some fresh air. Ugh, it's getting late, I have to return. Just bad luck, this blasted back alley. The man up ahead muttered some confusing words as his head shakes incessantly before disappearing into the shadows of the theater. What a strange man. I wonder if I'll run into him again. D d just climb the fence, you idiots. The Iron Gate looks like it's concealing the biggest secrets in the universe. This Iron Gate is cold. You have no idea what's behind it. Okay. Interesting. I am looking for loot, in case you're wondering. Like this. You have phone booths? Wow. It's another trash can, guys. There is a leisurely elegance to the trash cans, which exudes a commanding confidence. It may have something to do with the letter fragment in its possession. A letter pieced together. Book shelf. A letter pieced together. What? Nope. Yes. Read. This is the content of the letter that was pieced back together. Miss Lila, I hope you will keep this letter safe. Maybe it will lift the curtains of a nice story for, on everyone's lips. This month we've been working together was far too short. The first thing that I noticed about you was your beauty. You're more beautiful than most other women, but not quite as beautiful as my first love. But that's not important. Your real charm is your down-to-earth work attitude, which is the quality a woman in Bellabog should have in this era. The earnest way in which you prepared for interview articles was charming. I was captivated by your clear organisation and thoughtful questions. If I were conducting the interview, I would have been more thorough, especially with the improvisation and humour. In the future, feel free to communicate with me and I'd be more than happy to give you constructive feedback, making your work easier. 
Heard your magazine, Voyager, is a young media company only recently established. Plenty of challenges await in the future. An unwed woman like yourself will surely need an outstanding partner to face those challenges together. Allow me to reintroduce myself. For three consecutive years, I've been voted as the backbone of the magazine, Crystal Daily. Many colleagues call me the one who is most daring to speak out. Of course, an outline of work, that is a good quality to have. In my spare time, I participate in various sports. I'm exceptionally good at long distance running and have won many rewards for the suburban snow cross country. I think you'll find that there aren't many men like me. However, if you do like me, please don't become too attached. Fate guides our love and we do, must do our utmost for Bellabog. What kind of love would require us to sacrifice our job? What kind of love would have us be filled with guilt and shame? Please respond within seven days of reading this letter. Otherwise, I'll be too busy to the rest of the, <laughs> the tall letter is missing. <laughs> okay, well, that's one way to win a woman's heart, I suppose. 